hope it's the old fella back or if you're new here or Mr B, whatever you want to call me. Uh, yeah, I've done a sort of interview chat with um, Velvet Grip, uh, three of the members out of the band. Um, great bunch of lads from uh, from London. So it's more of, a, more of a chat, you know, just to get to know them and get to know what they're doing, things like that. Anyway, I'm not going to rabbit on too long. Let's get over to the chat. Uh, there we go, it's the old fella back, because I think you all know me now, Mr. Old Grumpy. Uh, right, who I have here is Velvet Grip, and if they'd like to introduce themselves. Yeah, so I go for I go first. I'm Lude Carter, I'm the drummer. By the way, on the video you said it right, because many people don't get it right away, because it's sort of an unusual nickname so you did a great, a great job and thanks for having us here anyway that's that's what i'm here for next <laughs> so i'm dominic i'm the bass player and um i'm 33 years old um yeah and i'm absolutely blasted for for being here and yeah really nice cool um yeah i'm adam uh helping the guitarist um and yeah thank you very much for taking the time to review our stuff and obviously um, spending some time talking to us. No, oh, this is what I'm here for. I'm here to promote bands. My channel's not about me. It's about bands promoting them. You know, first of all, the first question I always ask: How did you get? How did you get the name? Uh, actually, we were looking for some influences and um, like to get the the grip for example it comes from from an aerosmith album and uh then playing with words you know and which has uh to find a name which is which sounds like a rock band not like a company or something like that and um a bit vintage you know and yeah this is how we after i don't know after around ten thousand ideas or words what we put together this is how we came up with it. and we were all pretty happy with it and sure nice right. good day Good name. The idea either to have like a sort of para team at the very beginning. It yeah. came up and it just w wouldn't have been the right thing, right? Uh, we are thinking about this. And how did you all meet? So Dom and I used to play in another band like four or five years ago, you know, and uh, uh, because of COVID and all the reasons that we split up in March 2021, and uh, so some of the guys left the country, some others just stopped playing. We wanted to carry on it with, with our band because we had so many songs you know, that had to be recorded, you know, and played live. So we started doing the auditions, and after six, seven months, Adam helped enjoy us. And uh, then it took a little bit over a year to find a good singer. We, we tried around. It was a guy who played with us for six months. We basically just wasted our time. And um, and then finally, Adam Francis joined us um, for the vocals. And he, he's doing amazingly, absolutely. From Let Me Breathe, the, the single that uh, you heard, I think we can all agree with that. Yeah, it is your microphone by the way, that's making the noise. Yeah. yeah, I wonder why I'm not so technological. It's, it's It sounds as though you've got it turned up too much, so every time you speak, it uh, does it. But anyway, we'll plod on, not a problem. Right, so then. Um, so, Adam, you play the guitar, yeah? Yeah. How many guitars do you have? Um... Uh, four, four, and uh, it's not the one you saw in the video. Actually, it's not mine. So, unfortunately, so yeah, got a Stratocaster and a couple of SGs and a Jackson. That's kind of um, out of out of work at the minute. Right. So I've got thirteen. Oh wow! <laughs> one bass, one seven string, and the rest are six strings. Oh, nice. Uh, so it's just me. I'm no musician. I just mess about. I mean. The intro, as you can see, I've started doing funny intros now where I come floating in and stuff. I just, it's just for fun. But, um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting that I'm not a, I'm not a Strat fan. I'm a, more of a telly fan, but, uh, you know, and I've got 
switchblade guitar or a, a Swiss Army knife guitar, you know. They're really good for everything, the uh, telly. Yeah. yeah. Right, uh, Dominic, yeah, yeah. Your, your drums then. I'm not going to ask how many drums you got because you've probably got loads. I'm not a drummer. I'm the no, bass player. Oh, the bass player. Sorry, okay. I mean, <laughs> of course, no, it's lubed. It's a, a, tell you, this is what happens when you get old. <laughs> well, just totally well. lose it. <laughs> totally lose it. I tell you, I, I'm, I'm terrible at remembering names for a start off. So anyway, okay. So how many bases have you got? Uh, I've got five bass guitars, four electric bass and all of them four string and uh, one acoustic bass. Four string. Oh dear. Yeah. I only have one bass, five but it's string. a five string. Sorry? I only have one bass, but it's a five string. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I considered already a couple of times to buy a five string as well, but um, I'm really into more kind of the top end, you know, on, on, on the bass, not only the, the, the low end. And um, so in that, in that way actually was suits me the, the four string bass yeah. better. I, 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 if I, I know, I know what sort of sound you, you you want from the bass. It's a job for me to explain, but it's 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 got this certain sound to it. And you, you know, yeah, um, yeah. I can't. I, 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 you know, it's one of them things, and it's it's the same with everybody. You're always looking for certain sounds. It's the same. Yeah, right, yeah. You go to to Luke now with your drummer, your drumming. It's like your drums. You want a certain sound. You got the the, the skins to a certain tone haven't yeah, you I got, yeah i got a thomas silverstar from the custom shop in the u.s i got this drum already like 10 years ago but i feel that he didn't play that much live with it because you know all the venues have their own and not having my own um, vehicle basically it's hard you know to bring it around i should get a hoover you know and it, it will be just an extra effort and complicated, you know. I can go always with the breakables, you know, the snare, the cymbals, which I have. Uh, a Zildjian, a custom, uh, 20 inches for for the ride, 16, 17 inches for the crash, and uh, high edge is the first Yeah, because uh, I do like I do like what you're doing. I do like what you're doing. It's it's, it's really good, right. and and that's another thing. It's like, how did you find me to get in touch with me? Well, easily. Uh, so we are, you know, uh, in the middle of the promotion of this song. And, uh, you know, I was looking on um, YouTube for reviews and so on. So uh, I bumped into your channel and I thought you, you are, you know, good in what you do. You have experience. You know, so I wanted, like, uh honest opinion of about what we do, you know. Somebody that knows not only about music but plays the instruments as well. Yeah, oh thank you. But I, I don't it. mind. This, this is this is what I, I like to find new bands. Obviously I've never heard of you before. this is crazy. I hardly know any of the new bands or anything in this country. In Japan, I know loads. Um, it, it's like because in Japan at the moment, what's happening in Japan? The female bands are taking over. Yeah. The, the, I mean, I don't know if you've heard of any. Have you heard of Nemophila? No, no, I haven't. No. Band, band made. They're dressed up as maids, but blooming hell, they're for me, oh, they're right old rock band. They are. Mm. And then there's Love Bites. They're all female, and. You know, the, the men, I think we've held them back too long. Now they're showing us how it's done, and they are really, really good. You want to check them out. Yeah. yeah. The, the, it's always had quite a scene, hasn't it? Uh, they've always been, like, mad on rock and metal. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, it is a joke. I mean, me, I was into T-Rex back mm -hmm. in the 70s, right? Mentioned T-Rex to, to the young ones even in Japan. They know. Because it yeah. was in Japan. It, it surprised me how... You know, and then you've got lookalikes or whatever in Japan doing T Rex. One guy looks apart really? from his pr pronunciation. You know, mm. um, it's it's amazing, and I'm quite well known over there as well now. Oh, and right. uh, it, which which it's all good fun. It's it's, but yeah, this is this is what I need to do is to find out more bands in this country. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, there's actually here also quite a quite a few and um, also uh, quite a few new good rock bands from 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 the state. Um, but yeah, I guess I I, I to, uh, to be to be fair or to be honestly with you, apart from from England and uh, and the states, so like in Asia, so I don't know or hardly that I know any bands there. Hmm. Yeah, I was the yeah. same. But for me, it's like me starting back all the back from the seventies again, yeah. going, learning through music what's going to happen. It's what's happening in the rest of the world. It's brilliant. Yeah. Really, yeah, yeah. I, I knew so from Japan when I think about uh, some thrash metal bands or like fast, really pretty fast and extreme music. But so in terms of rock bands or so, actually pretty, pretty little. X Japan, they were big. They were big worldwide. Yeah. Okay. Um, but um, you know, but yeah, no. yeah, but the Japanese market always was, you know, anyway, uh, bands are never made it in Europe or US, you know, and they absolutely thrived in the Japanese market because they, mm. they're more open, you know, in that sense. And as far as bands that come out from Japan, I don't know any right now, but I think, yeah. yeah, as Dom said before, you know, they are more into like sort of power metal normally, but yeah, you know, there yeah. is. Revival of rock and roll going on as well. Yeah, um, there's all. Well, there's a band called the Lady Shelters, and they do all the the old Rolling Stones, the Who, and that sort of thing. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, oh, that's one. That would be my thing. <laughs> yeah, but you see, and what and what you're doing is, I mean, is great. And uh, do you, do you tour at all round local? We would. We we would until now is it is it so that we obviously plan to to do like a small UK tour for 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 the beginning, but um, we didn't sort out any venues or 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 so at all. So we have now uh, next Friday on the twenty fourth um, a gig coming up which we organized ourselves with uh, with two other bands and a DJ um, in in Camden Town here in London, and um, so to see how it goes, you know, like how how the whole thing goes, and because until now we played only only a few pretty small gigs actually and um yeah let's see how this goes and if everything goes well and whatever then we can definitely or we should look into you know to to plan like a kind of uk tour or if the the the, the greatest thing what could happen is that uh, maybe a bigger band or so um uh, is touring and needs support or so you know and we get the option you know to to be supported that's that's great that's the, that's this what you be so if there's any any big bands out there watching this, here's your support band. <laughs> yeah. So if Leonard Skinner or the Who, for example, yeah. plans to need for, <laughs> for I don't know the Royal Albert Hall of Support Acts, let us know, please. <laughs> Flash right. comes to UK, we're all up for it, you know. Yeah. Right, right, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, Guns and Roses, if you're listening. <laughs> yeah, right. True, true, yeah. I think they're gonna do this year at uh, the, the Hyde Park or so. And Glasgow, yeah, they're, doing, yeah, they're, yeah, they're doing something like that, yeah. So, extra yeah. rose, if you hear that, please let us know, <laughs> yeah. And, um, I'm trying to think now. So, well, I think, I think Band Made, the Japanese girl, they opened for them up, uh, over in America, yeah. So, are they touring here in the UK as well? Oh, I don't know, I've lost track. I, mean, I spend so many hours doing my YouTube channel uh-huh. and like listening to music and stuff and, and that I'd, well the only time i really listen to music is now when i'm reacting to it yeah, so, yeah. and and i get i get you know getting time to to do all this um because everyone just thinks you sit there talking they keep sending me all these requests and it's yeah. like oh come on give us a break <laughs> but then when you emailed me you see it's a new band new bands another band did as well um here we go. It's the name. It's the name. They're from London as well. Um, I'm terrible. Like, I'm just no good. I thought it was old age, but it's not. I'm always like it. I've been like it all my life. Um, I'll tell you the name of them in a minute. Um, uh, where are we? Where are we? Um, yeah, I, I reacted to them as well. And uh, oh, yeah, Dirty Mitts. Have you heard of them? Mm-mm. London, they're in oh. London. No. Oh, okay. I mean, how did you say are they? Dirty mitts. Dirty, dirty mitts, as in dirty hands. Uh huh. 
Yeah, you know, that's what we call mix. Yeah. No. Um, well, I'm, I'm hoping to have a chat with them as well. You know, um, it's it's so good. And they yeah. also just formed, or 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 they uh, they already older. Older pond. You say are they young or old? No, I mean not 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 the age. Uh, I mean if they also just formed this band, or or. I think so. They're not been around long. I don't think I, I, I didn't get a chance to sort of do a lot of a lot of checking because you see, it's like information. It, it's like my, my biggest problem with a lot of new bands is trying to find pictures. But look, I've got yours here, which is great. Mm. Here we go. You know, you go. It's true, it's true. You look for links, Facebook, whatever, find them and get them out, you know, get them out there. Yeah, and that's yeah. that's what it's all about. And, and Adam, yes, you're, you're rather quiet. This is not good. <laughs> Sorry, no, I was just I was just listening. <laughs> it's all right. Every time I forgot more than yeah, you know, if you get several people on, there's always one quiet one. Yeah, I don't yeah. want to don't want to over uh, over speak. You know, speak over anyone. No, no, well, it doesn't matter. I do. I've got more rabbit than Sainsbury's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, flipping it! It's all right. If you can hear that bleeping noise, it's um, Instagram going mad. Uh, I'm getting messages I and all sorts. Because of us? No, no. <laughs> I, let's put it like this. I couldn't read it. It's Japanese. Ah, okay, okay. Oh. Um. Oh, I know what it could be because I asked a Japanese band about doing an interview. You see, so it could be that coming up. Maybe as, yeah. as long as I say yes, I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> But no, no, this is great what you're doing. It's great. And and it, and what well, well and thank you. Thank you for doing this because I like to meet the people, get to know the people, and then I put this out and it, it's like then people get to know the band. Yeah. And it helps I'm here to promote the band, you know. So if you've got like if you've just mentioned you've got the tour coming up, you know, little the, the gigs or whatever, you know, feel free to mention them because that's what I want to do. I want people to get to know about you get you out there you see yeah and that's that's what it's all about anyway um Luke, where are you actually originally from well i'm from italy right like in a small town near bologna right the east coast you know um basically and just down the adriatic sea and across my town, there is Croatia. Right. Yes. 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 And uh, I like I like the pose. It's frozen. That's alright. Um, Tommy, uh, where are you yes. from? Uh, I'm from from the south of Germany, from Bavaria. Right. And, uh, but I'm already since or nearly eight years now in right. in London. Because Adam's uh, definitely London. Yeah. Yeah, the, the accent. So it's the accents you see. Yeah. Mm. Ah, Ramstein country. <laughs> yeah, talking. I brought I brought a guitar from Tormund. Tormund, wherever you pronounce it. Tormund. Tormund. Yeah. 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 Very cheap, but very good. It's actually Tormund is not far away. It's like one hour drive or so, I think, from from the place where where I'm from. It's pretty big. Yes, I gathered that. I've always started thinking. I didn't go over there. I'd spend too much money. Um, yeah. But um, yeah, I, Benton, by any chance? Yes. Yeah, they're they're meant to be really good, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they are. And considering it was only like 149 pounds. Yeah, they're meant to be really good for for the price. For the price, they are amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, I think I think it was that one I was playing on my previous intro. To the one I've got now, but I'm I'm doing some more intros as well. But I'm being silly. I've just ordered a mega green screen, so I'm going to have some fun. <laughs> hey, it's all right getting old, but you know, I'm not going to sit there in my rocking chair. <laughs> no way. <laughs> but yeah, so so you've you've all you know. Um, so actually, how long how long have you been together as, as this band? So is this band is it now? I. Think think a April. year or or in april yeah. a year or something like uh, that f fully fully formed as in like the f with yeah. uh, adam on vocals as well i think it was about april last year so we're coming up to 
to a year. Yeah. Not long then. Just yeah. Long, no. Yeah. No, that's that. That's that's good. And um, who writes the who's who's the main writer for the songs? Um, it's more Lude. Lude. Yes, it's Lude writes quite a bit. Um, and obviously I have a few songs as well. Um, but Lude's quite quite a writer, you know, and he, he writes on guitar as well. So, so yeah, it helps. And then obviously we have Adam on writing the lyrics or, or most of the lyrics anyway. And, um, yeah, Dom chips in with the bits and pieces here. And, yeah, we all, we all contribute, you know. So right. that's that's great teamwork teamwork that's what it's all about yeah of course yeah. It's, it's the, yeah. that's the point of being in a band really is yeah. uh you've got four heads and that's that's usually it's going to be better than one you know if you have a common goal and and you understand what sort of sound you're all going for then you know really helps to have everyone pitching in and obviously arrangement and stuff everyone um contributes to that so that's um you know, an essential part of songwriting as well. So, so really it's, you know, it's all of us. Um, but yeah, like the initial ideas tend to come from <laughs> Luke or myself. Great. Yeah. Well, this is the thing we found out with these, uh, if you like the female bands, there's no male ego. Yeah. They're like you. Yeah. Just been talking. They all work <laughs> together. Sense. They all yeah. work together and you don't get the, uh, the, 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 the oasis thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah um yeah i mean the, well i guess that's it's kind of easy not to not to have this sort of egotistical battle when you have a common goal um, mm. and i think when you have when you're trying to go in different directions that's when that becomes a real problem you know and i've, I've had that experience in the past um but yeah here yeah, I, I don't really find anything like that it's just we just want to get the job done and and uh, we all know what we want from it and uh, what direction we're going in. So that's great. That's no, that's yeah. that, that is so pleasing to hear. Believe yeah. you and me, you know, you're all you're, you're all working out, you're all going in the same direction. It's absolutely brilliant. That's, that's what it's all about. Yeah, yeah. you know, I mean, but I mean, to 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 this was this was this ego thing, you know. I mean, if you if you run this thing, you know, to to together and everything, you know, so everything, uh, everyone in the band should have um, should be allowed, you know, to bring their influences and and um, contribute however they they can or want or or whatever. Um, but yeah, I think it's actually very important to to create something own, you know, to have not one um one songwriter which is doing all the stuff, you know. I think it's better if everyone can can bring their ideas and um every idea will be considered, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I mean, I know, I know. Sometimes you get one songwriter, and you got other people thinking, "Oh, we can do this with it, and it'll make it sound better." But the the stubborn, no, don't wait like that. It's got to be this way. Exactly. Be... Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You know. Yeah, well, the thing that we do to combat that is that we generally we try most things, you know, even if um, there's an idea that we're not all certain about. It seems like we we just take the time, we try it and, you know, yeah. just give it a few goes. Sometimes you don't know how good something is going to sound or how bad something is going to sound until you've played it a few times and, you know, um, just repeated it. And if it's not good, it's not good. And we just we just go ahead and fix it again, you know, and find something else. Yeah. Yeah, so, whereas I just fall well, out. Everyone writes things that they don't that people are not going to like, and then you're going to write stuff that people will like, and that's just yeah. the nature of yeah. song and composition. Yeah, yeah, like with me, I just fall out with myself. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. I um, like I think I've done something. I think oh that was good. Then I go leave. I just leave it and go back the next. The next day and thinking god that was awful um yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah i've been there been there a few times as well a good few times yeah. yeah um but then again it's only me i only mess about with it i don't i mean today i've messed about with vocals i can't sing so i cheat <laughs> bit of auto tune yeah well i've also got um tc electronics box of tricks uh, all right. I don't know what it's called now. The extreme. It's it's you can do all sorts with it. Oh, yeah, you can plug a guitar in, play along with the guitar, and sing, and it'll put you. It'll automatically put you in, in the right key. Oh wow! 
<laughs> I've not heard of that. <laughs> Absolute cheating. Because uh, I don't have an amplifier. I used to have a Helix. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. No good amplifier. Well, that's like man. every amplifier in, in one. So, yeah. So it's pretty cool. Yeah. That's, that's the idea of it. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's fun, and you get some weird sounds out of that. I've also got, uh, I use, uh, I've got another um, Roland, what is it, GR55. Turns your guitar into a synth. All right. Yeah. Don't buy one. <laughs> <laughs> so it's all right. It's all right. Till the midi, if you want it to sound like a piano, you've got to be so precise with your fingers. Otherwise, oh, it's basic, basic keys and... Oh, yeah, don't, don't bother it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, hang on. I noticed that the noise has crept back in. Yeah, there's some, some yeah. noise. As I got back in, the noise it came, it came up as well. <laughs> yeah. yeah. My connection is absolutely terrible here, guys. So I'll try to... I'm jumping in and off of this. Yeah, no, here. that's 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 fine. That's fine. No, it's all right. Um, at least it's not as bad as it was was before. You know what I mean? It's, it's interesting where how it all how it all works with with the internet. You know, um, we're we're sort of let's say we're local. You think it'd be pretty good? You know, like right. if I'm talking to somebody halfway around the world, it's it doesn't seem to work like that. Yeah, yeah, I mean. But my connection probably is really cheap as well. I mean, we are either six people in the house, so I mean, it's overloaded with, you know, the data and stuff. Yeah. That's why it's low, probably. Yeah. Oh, no, it's all right. I mean, you just, I mean, on my screen now, you just swap places with Adam, you know. This is, but, uh, but no, it's interesting what I was talking about. I don't know if you was listening about, how you all get on together, how you create the music and everything else, which is great. But you know what? What I what I want to say actually about that as well. Um, uh, so when Lud and me, when we started looking for for a guitarist and uh, and a singer, you know, to form to form a new band, it took us I don't know. We did, I think, fifty auditions or or even more, you know, to find the right people. Because the thing is, it's not only that you find a, a a guitarist which plays good or whatever, and then everything works. Then it's also the ego. Then it's this. Then it the image, you know, or. Um, how people are commit the commitment in general, you know, and there's so many times, you know, that people, they, they, they tell you things or promise or whatever. And in the end of the day, you know, like if it really works out, you know, that, that it's a completely dif different story, you know? So, so it really takes to find committed people, which have fun doing that, which suit this whole rock thing. And, um, but also, you know, like are obviously good, good musicians and, and yeah. 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 That's, that's great. I mean, I know exactly what you're saying. Um, am I rattling now? Yeah, I am. Hang on. <laughs> yeah, let's see if that stops. It. No, I don't know it is. But um, but yeah, but yeah, but like I say, it's... hang on. Have we got. Let's see. If this stops it. Let's see if that stops it. No, that's not no, stopped it. They're coming up. Lou, did you just get your head? I'm it. still using my head. Oh, right. Oh, okay. Is it? I don't think it's me. No. Uh -huh. Pardon? Did you say something, Dominic? No, I had to. No, no, I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh, um, I'm not. I, I am a bit of a joker. I do. Okay. <laughs> um, right. Fair enough. Um, because you know, you get you get to a certain age, and it's like you know, most people my age are all living in the past, listening to the old music. Yeah. Whereas I'm always looking for new bands, new music, and things like that. Yeah. And this is what I like about it. This is, this is what I like about you guys. It's a new band. You know. Yeah, yeah, but uh, you know, it's not uh, not only in your age. It's I I guess it's probably for the most or or for many people like like that. I mean, I I, I just can 
just can talk about myself you know and i mean um there is so many old bands um which are or if i choose some some music or whatever mostly like old bands i listen to new new music as well and there's um uh uh, here and there some really cool stuff what I really like to listen but mostly is it not reaching bands like Led Zeppelin or, or, or whatever you know so so it's many times that I'm going then back to the to the old music which I think is also like uh, uh, to us more influential than um, than, than new music but yeah, yeah but it's, still, it's, there's really good stuff out there as well from, from now yeah it's either like hard you know to stand out you know because nowadays yeah. with the internet and uh, you know there's so much uh, going on and there's so many releases every day you know so if you don't have that commitment you know to keep up the momentum month after month you know you just get lost yeah. between the others you know and yeah. uh and I believe there's so much music nowadays as well. It's just a matter of finding it, you know. And major platforms just don't advertise that, you know. You get a pop and, uh, you know, whatever last, you know, soul artist, which is just like um, one of these major record labels, which, you know, doesn't care about the music that is produced. You know, they get a catalog and the page already made, you know, and they get a good singers, you know, but uh, good vocals, but no talent into writing, you know, and they use it kind of like a puppet, you know, it does the job for them because it sounds good. Yeah. So I, I believe it's more of, it's about the people to go out there, you know, and finding the good music. Yeah, it's because like record companies, they're only interested in money. Smaller magazines. So, yeah, and, and then another difference is that uh, um, uh, with YouTube and everything, you're not depend anymore to go to gigs or um, or buy CDs or or, or other records, you know. Um, which I guess since since internet, you know, it, it changed a lot in, in music. And then since COVID, uh, in general, with the gigs and tours and everything, I I I I I really believe that be or. I don't know if it just seems to me like that or or if it's really like that, but it seems to me that before COVID, there were much more uh, uh, tours and, and concerts and everything going on as at the moment. And then obviously with, with Brexit and everything, I think it's just not so much happening anymore, you know? Not as profitable, is it? Uh, it's very expensive for bands to tour now. Um, that doesn't help as well. You know, and obviously since, like, like was mentioned, like, there's COVID, people may be more hesitant to come out or they got used to not being out so much. So, you know, yeah, yeah. maybe some people are not going to gigs before and, and whatever. But, yeah. I mean, we've got the internet. Although it's oversaturated, it's still yeah. a massive opportunity for every artist you know, to get their work out there. Um, and you just have to be persistent and try and show that you can offer something new, you know. Especially with what we're doing, I think there's a lot of people that think, rightly or wrongly, they think that it's kind of all been done already. And I think it's up to us as artists to show, you know, that's not the case. And, and we still have a new to offer the scene and, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's true, but I anyway believe that that uh, uh, to create now something completely new, this is this is this is more or less impossible. You know, I mean, yeah. uh, it's probably better to focus to do something, just some some really good rock music, instead of now try uh, uh, desperately to 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 create something new which never been there or whatever. I mean, there's probably no progression or whatever which you can play which was not yet done or uh, yeah. like you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Right. What I want to do, because I don't know how long we've been on. Who knows? Anyway. <laughs> but is there anything you want to promote? Uh, yeah, definitely. So, um, so we, uh, as, as I mentioned already before, we have on the 24th of um, uh, 24th of March, which is next Friday, basically, um, we have this, this gig coming up, which we organize ourselves in the Fiddler's Elbow in, in Camden Town. And um, starts at, at 7.30 is with two other bands, one band from, from South and on Sea and, and another band from, from London. And the mate from us uh, is DJ. He, uh, he will DJ after, after, the, uh, after the bands, basically. And um, yeah, it will be a rock night, which is organized from us. And um, 
to just to get a great vibe and everything and yeah um to everyone just come out you know come to watch us you know support live music and uh and of course also if um any festivals uh would be interested to see us playing also or would give us the chance then um you're more than welcome to 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 give us yeah to to let us know we would love to 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 do that, you know like in summer some nice festivals so and yeah yeah and along with that we got uh obviously the gig for the 24th will start at seven so you can already find you know um tickets online you just go on our social media pages you yeah. have all the details of how to get them and uh, and um along with that we got the 3rd of April, uh, our second single, which we recorded the same day as Let Me Breathe coming out, you know, the official music coming out. And uh, you actually can already find on all major platforms, platforms uh, the song called Hotel on the Cliff, and YouTube as well, and so on. But the official video is going to be out. 3rd of April, so you'll miss it. I've just made a note. <laughs> just made a note of it, so that's a note. 3rd of April. Awesome. Yeah, that's down here now. Because, yes, I mean, I, I mean, it's like me doing reactions. I don't just do one. I always do a couple because you you got to get the feel of what a band's like, you know. Yeah. And, and yeah. also, also, I always put links in to your channels, your you know your stuff so people can find you that's what that's what i do this for you know yeah, you got... yeah. <laughs> so i thought you got to say something <laughs> no no i'm fine i'm fine so that's that's what i do that's that's the idea of doing this is so people can get to see what you're about and you know and i'll always say i mean i always put a bit at the start of this a bit at the end the bit at the end is where i go I, I'm, I'm on my channel. I've never ever asked anybody to like or subscribe because I don't like it, so I'll never do it, right? Mm -hmm. But it's totally the opposite. I'll be telling them to do that to your channel. Yes, thank you. <laughs> yes. Thank you yeah. so then, we, then we are the one who's gonna say subscribe and like videos yeah. from no. Old Mr. B. No, no, yeah. no, you don't worry about that. I mean. What I'm on now, I've got to over twenty thousand subscribers. I never ask. Yeah, uh, you know, That's and I, I just do this for fun. It started off for fun. I've got over two thousand nine hundred uh, reactions up on my channel. Uh -huh. I was putting up three a day. Um, yeah, that's great. So I'm having a break that's now. Amazing. I'm having a break now. So I'm only putting two up a day. So that's why yesterday I put four up, and I think I put four. Because of uh, certain bands or people I support, if they, you know, put something new up, I react to it pretty quick and get it up there because of, because of, I support them. And these are usually people like yourselves that I have done interviews and chats with. It's more of a chat than an interview, actually. You know, I'm not going to, you know, yeah. and that. And yes, so there you go. So, um. If you want to say, I'll stop recording now. So if you just want to say goodbye to everybody, I'll have a quick chat before I actually finish completely and I'll stop recording. Then, uh, you know, there we go. Absolutely. Absolutely. All people out there, stay safe. Let's see the 24th of March at Fiddle's Elbow at 7. Have a good one. Yeah, have a good one, yeah. yeah I would also say... Bye bye to everyone and um yeah uh, of of course thank you for 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 listening and and uh, yeah and feel free to check us out you know on all um social uh, social media platforms streaming platforms um and yeah and then a great evening to everyone yeah I'd just like to say um first and foremost thank you again for having us and, um, you know like. We, as bands in these genres, we need people like you who are, you know, spreading the word of of, of lesser known bands or bands that are starting out. So uh, you are, people like yourself are really important to what we're doing. So thank you very much for that. Oh, and, um, obviously, yeah. Um, thank you to anyone that watched. Hopefully, hopefully you enjoy what we do and yeah, take it easy. Yeah. Right then. Bye-bye. Yeah. All right. Bye-bye.
Well, there you go. Great bunch of guys, aren't they? Um, right, information. Right, all the information will be down below uh, to their channel and everything, so you can go and check them out. You can go and check them out for sure. Um, and uh, obviously they've got the uh, the new single coming out on the 3rd of April. Just check to make sure I've got the day right. And um, of course, I will be reacting to it. Uh, but yeah, great guys. So there you go. All say all the information's down there. Go and check them out. And uh, like I say, they're doing that. Uh, they've got that gig that they set up. So go and check that out as well. If you if you're down that way, if you're down London way. So there you go, folks. Anyway, thank you, thank you, everyone, for all your comments, all your support, and everything else. You're all awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you, so so much. And of course. Please, please, please stay safe. This old fella will be back. Bye for now.